What? Uh, it snowed overnight. I thought. I thought. I thought something was broken. I thought my eyes were broken. I don't like this. I wish we were more overcast. Yeah, I need like sunglasses or something. If only we had a way to get rid of the sun. Oh, that's way bad. Now I'm not blinded. Oh, I love it. Whoa. Did you put a suppressor on that? Or did <laughs> I put a suppressor on that? So no one knows we're coming. <laughs> I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Have you ever seen a 50 cal suppressor? I didn't think that was a real thing. They are a real thing. They're massive. Okay. A 50 cal suppressor is like the size of a normal gun. <laughs> All right. They're big. Like seriously, I've seen a 50 cal suppressor before and they're straight up like two feet long. Yay. And then they have a muzzle brake. At the end of the suppressor. It's a very it's long just, gun. It's stupid. It's a comically long gun. It's, uh, man, that is, that is real dumb. I feel like that 50 is not actually big enough, though. Mm. Yeah, I feel like that 50 isn't big enough. All right. I tried to reinstall the service rifle retexture thing. Mm. So where's my... Since I don't know what happened to my actual M4. I... They're like... Duh! Maybe you gave it to a companion. Why is that right there? That wasn't there when I came in here. I certainly didn't put it down behind you while you were looking at guns. Uh, oh, yeah, I bet you didn't. You almost done with your guns yet? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, let's go. What the hell is that thing? It's a gun. My gun. It's red like me. All right, I, I guess if that's how you choose your guns is whether or not they're the same color as your outfit. You gotta dress for success. The gun's got a... It's communist? It's got to not clash with my color scheme. It's it's communist. It complements it. It's communist. You'd have glue if you weren't living in a capitalist hellscape where uh, adhesive is expensive. Look, we don't have the time to go into whether or not a capitalist hellscape or a communist hellscape is worse. They're both pretty fucking terrible. <laughs> Hence the name hellscape. <laughs> yeah. All right, where are we going? To the Brotherhood. Oh, that's right. The Brotherhood of Steel. And back here on the Pridwin. All right, gotta meet everybody on the Pridwin. All right, that's what we're doing. Meet today. this janitor. Hi, nice broom. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. No, it wasn't. Carry food with you, or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. Uh, like what stim packs? Because that's pretty much all I subsist on at this point. Oh, right, food. We forgot to eat that for the last three years. Oh, jeez. Hey! Hey, Dance! Nice coffee machine. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? He's a pretty big dingus. He's also really young compared to everyone else. Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician. Oh, is a he? A formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Okay, why? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. What did you do with the Brotherhood outcasts? Was it a, was it a forceful reassimilation, or did you wipe them out for being heretics? I can't tell if you're bored or just ignoring me. Uh, it's the, it's the latter. I, I mean, uh, he sounds kind of delusional, dude. You shouldn't judge Maxon on his words alone. His actions prove his sincerity. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point Take on a it, on but if me. you screw up, Take a on we go down me. together. Okay, well, whatever. I, I mean, you go down. I, I got nowhere else to go. I've already hit rock bottom, man. I'm glad you leash yourself to this sinking ship. Yeah, that was a great idea on your part, you freaking idiot. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. Nah, I'm not. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Is this Alcoholics Anonymous? All right, let's go, I guess. Hooray, more people following us! Oh boy. Outstanding. If dumb and ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. Wow, what a fucking burn. Cause you know, everybody's like all supporting super mutants all ah, the time. Ah, good, you're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, what? I'm sorry, what? Do we look like a scrub to you? We're the general of the Minuteman. 
And I'm sure we'll be in charge of every other faction that we come across. You could use me with someone else. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, Max had wanted me to meet the crew, and you were the first one on the list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. <laughs> you want some of our people? We got a lot of them. Sorry, what is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. But if you send two people out there and they die, then you gotta send a retrieval team after their corpses. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Right, yep, we'll we'll nice to meet you too, Chiefsy. We'll keep an eye out for all that garbage you need. All right. Well, let's extract that molar. Pull the brain out right through the nose. Please, finish your introductions by all means. But I do hope you'll consider assisting me when you're done. Stop talking and hold still, otherwise we'll never get that molar out. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What, what kind of medical exam? I'm fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I mean, I've already I'm going to ask though. you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? He's, he's actually full of radiation, and he's radiating right now. You yeah. might want to get checked. When I would microwave food, I would just slam my face into the window. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Mike, how did we end up on the leper blimp? Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you have Wow, what a great doctor Third you are. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? It's just a flashback to all the things of me leering over Cleo <laughs> and Death Claws. And a dog humped his leg once. That happens often enough, you have to have a question about it. You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Gross. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Well, uh, well, I'm sorry, that's not really a doctor question, that's a moral question. Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? This should have been gone over in basic training, my guy. You, you gotta kill their morality in basic training. That's the whole point. That's why they torture you. <laughs> Boot camp is kind of torturous, I guess. I mean, it, it kind of is. It, it meets some of the criteria of it. Like, you have no self-autonomy. They deprive you of food and sleep. Um, I have a lot to do, soldier. <laughs> He's just getting more and more irritated. <laughs> hey, man, when my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. Cool. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. And if you ever want to fuck a robot, you let me know. Vance, won't you try a new recipe? Some cookies. I call them les cookies du Westland. The aroma is rather pungent. <laughs> yeah, that's a test of the Westland. I wanted that every bit be like a radioactive intoxication. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All 
I, I, I told him if you ever want to fuck a robot, you let me know. And then I realized that I still haven't gotten with Cleo, so... There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. All I did was change the power core. God. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Yes. Huh, not what I was expecting. Can you, like, turn and look at There we go. What on earth were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Oh, you don't have legs. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. <laughs> While you're at it, my car's making this weird grinding noise. When I back it out of the driveway, it makes that sound. Th th I think that means you need to get your brakes replaced. That's probably the squealers on your brakes. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I, I had hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm you sure you're here to get it? your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Oh, no, boy. no, tell me, tell me about the legs. Tell me about the legs. Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. Got like three itches I can't even scratch. Ugh, oh, that's not fun. Free power armor. Let's grab it and go back to the gas station and add it to the pile. Oh, man. This one is not yeah. really my favorite. Yay, more power armor. I always wondered what it's like you can take on the world out here, doesn't Am I right? it? Not too shabby. This. I mean, I guess it feels different. It's I, I it's just power armor, man. Hey! Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. What, like, you don't like being in the arms room? I want to trade jobs. I want that job. And this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, I'm the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. You're on a floating airship, and these nukes are unsecured, could roll off the shelf. That seemed kind of odd, though, that I have to buy my own equipment. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. Hopefully it's adhesive. Why would the weaponsmith have adhesive? Because he needs it to fix weapons. True enough, why would he sell it to you? Because I want it, and I'm gonna give him money. All right, let's talk to Max. Wh wh why hasn't anyone cleaned up the random bits of debris that are just on the floor? This is supposed to be like a good ship. It's supposed to be a well-maintained ship, but and it ain't. there's just junk laying on the ground. My logic always was if your motor pool has oil stains on the floor, that means people are probably actually doing work. But like, this is ridiculous. Hey, it's Maxon. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing back here? Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's get right to it then, shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. Where? And it's infested with super mutants. Okay. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? We can do that, I guess, sure. Hi, Piper. I thought the enemy was the Institute, though. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. 
As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? You got it, boss! I'll do whatever you want! Thanks, Piper. Bye. I don't know what mod that is that's making him do that, but it drives me fucking nuts. Yeah, I'll do it. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed, and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed. Why don't you go take care of Fort Strong? You know, I've been thinking about how things went down with Winter. Yeah? <laughs> I never properly thanked you for that. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, I'm, I'm glad I could help. It seemed like it meant a lot to you. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long-lost Institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era. I'm not sure how to feel. Could have just left him in that vault. No one would have ever known. Was it what you were expecting? I just thought this would fix things. But it's not that easy. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. And I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. And I'd hoped with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. You are Being free. out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours. And ours alone. Uh -huh. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. Just change your name. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to thank me, we're friends, that's what friends do. You can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. Can you? We're not helping anyone standing around here. All right, I'm, I'm glad, glad that's all resolved. I'm glad we were able to help him. Get on that gunship, soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared and that stockpile secured. Get right on that, buddy. <laughs> all right, uh, back to the base. There we go. We'll drop off the suit of power armor. I hope this has something to do with our mission. And what? <laughs> I'm fixing the power armor. And by fixing, I mean leaving it here. See, you, you think that? You think that's power armor? You think that's power armor, buddy? Check this thing out. I will wear my power armor. We're finally gonna do a mission in power armor. Get your get your power armor, team. Woo! Autobots, transform and roll out. Why is this one marine baby cam? Because it's awesome. You don't like the Marpat? I didn't think it's weird that it's Marpat. Paladin Dance is just like, I've never seen so much power armor in my life. Oh my god! We're gonna Why do you have all this? We're gonna have to raid your gas station. Darling, get in the fucking power. There you go. This heat, it's burning my hard drive. There's no on the. I'm darling. I'm darling. Alright, uh, Vertibird! You don't see a lot of Vertibird. Getting high with no shape. drug? That's a new concept. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release. Why are you wearing a helmet, pilot? Or a headset, for that matter. It's gonna get loud. Okay, Fort Strong, here we come. The Fort Strong. What the hell is that down there? <laughs> is there Another beastly creature? No! Hey, look at that, a giant lobster! That's not a lobster, it's a crawdad! Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sights. But you only are only one minigun on this vertebrate. Why are you bring all of us if we can't shoot? This is ridiculous. Oh, I guess we'll just watch. Watch if she does that. You guys really don't have like a gauss gun or something? 
guess we'll just wait until we get on the ground. Until then, I guess. Also, this minigun is so freaking weak. But look at it not kill anything. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We have fun. Ah. <laughs> oh, you hit Piper with that one. This thing would be so overheated if I had fired it for that long. Mm -hmm. Who's he attacking? I have no idea. Primary target down. Look at that thing bleed. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Pridwin for repairs. What? Can't hear you over the sound of this minigun we're firing nonstop. This is why you're supposed to have inter-vehicle communication systems. Also the helicopter. Oh. Did that? Wow, that guy actually managed to hit us with a grenade from back there. Impressive. Really showing the strength of the Brotherhood here as we can barely take down any mutants with your minigun. Hey. Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> Great. Good mission, everybody. GG, everyone. GG. Whoa, whoa. Come on, close your out. Okay, so the vertebrate did not last. But we, that's why you wear the power armor. So you survived the vertebrate explode. Okay, you take him out on foot. I finally, I finally understand why they wear power Here armor. It's, it's less of power armor and more of an EOD suit. So when your vertebrate explodes around you, the Brotherhood's vertebrates are worse than Clash Hawks. I don't know what those are. Uh, that was the colloquial name that we jokingly called Black Hawk helicopters while I was in the military. Oh. Man, there is, it sounds like a bunch of garbage cans are falling around, around me. Yeah. Proceed carefully. These fortifications may still be inhabited. I'm sure they are. No, I'm, I'm sure they left their base completely unoccupied. This looks like the National Guard Depot that's been shut down by my house. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Adam H. Combat, Stranger Than Fiction. I will assume they gave us a stat boost. Can I just say you all look absolutely ridiculous in that power armor? You, you guys are silly looking. Look at that. Tiny little heads on these gigantic bodies. Ah. Says the one wearing the bright red armor that screams from a mile away. No. Look at me. Don't shoot me. It's urban camo. Yeah, uh-huh. That's definitely urban camo. It's what it's actually called. That is not urban camo. It said urban you camo. You find me a building that's that color. I can't. Because they're all so well hidden. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was annoyed. This area seems to be in disarray. I wonder if this is recent. A uh, gee, I don't know. Maybe the fresh blood is, is an indicator what that something is happening. Also, maybe the voice is going, What the, that noise? I hear something. I can't what believe the humans aren't what more organized. Is? Come on, tear up your workspace. I'm a little surprised at how well I can manipulate this revolver wearing all this stuff. Where do these fools come from? They seem to multiply like vermin. It is very odd if you think about the origins of them. How there's a limited amount. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure how I swiveled this thing around. Again, with these giant meat fingers. You're very dexterous. You're very dexterous. I'm, I'm a lot more dexterous. Oh, no. This is going to be a disaster. Everybody get in the elevator. <laughs> there's a weight limit. There's a weight limit. Never mind. Nobody get in the elevator. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Who farted? Mick, was it you? <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> wow, that guy, this guy's taking a lot of bullets. Maybe he's legendary too. Yeah, he's legendary. legendary. Oh, yeah. Fan the hammer, Zach. Fan that hammer. Hold on, you gotta reload the chamber. There you go. Fan it harder. It had come to Yay, you got it. Wow, he took way too many rounds. Oh, boy, a powerful ripper. Advanced technology, Haria. Brotherhood of Steel Heaven as well. I. I want the technology, I have a Brotherhood of Steel as well. What? That doesn't make any sense, Darlene. Speak English. Eh, ben, y'en a un qui s'est lâché là-dedans. That wasn't English! <laughs> I, mean, I know they want the nukes that are here, but I want adhesive. And screws from a desk fan. Yeah. I hate to say it, but they're probably safer in our hands than out there in the wild. Hey, I think I found them. Uh, I found the things down. Oh. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. It's just a job, man. Wiping them out was pretty fun. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. 
Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. Too late. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. I feel like that's a really big what if. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. What if the synths outnumber people and decide that we're obsolete? What if plants outnumber people and decide we're obsolete? <laughs> yeah. Then you end up with Mark Wahlberg in The Happening, and nobody wants that. Or we have that one movie with the plant that says, Feed Me. Feed me uh, oh, Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah. I, I, I really don't like that movie, but I admire that movie for its practical effects, because its practical effects are fucking incredible. Well, what don't you like about that movie? I, I don't like musicals. Okay, that, that's fair. Yeah, I don't like musicals. That's it. I don't generally like musicals either, but that's a pretty good, uh, it's very memorable. It's not a movie that I really enjoy watching, but its practical effects are fucking incredible. I know we're supposed to go back to the Pridwin, but let's go back and get rid of this power armor first. I'm tired of hearing you guys clunk everywhere. It was amusing for a few minutes, but it's gotten old. Yeah. All right, Nick. I'm all ears. Nope. No, 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 no. I need to talk to you. Nick, I need to talk. Nick! No, talk. God. God. This, this is why I fucking hate putting people in power armor. Right, yeah. Do something for you? Well, all of your power armor is broken. I need you to get out. Sure thing. <laughs> Not the best of time for you, eh, Nick? Oh, does he have it all in his... What a... Oh, God, he probably has it all in his inventory. Yep. Yep. Go out of the power armor. I'm gonna transfer the T45 left leg. You gotta fix him first, huh? Uh, um, what a hassle! Uh, talk. So you found a minute for me yet? Oh. Uh, is something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. I'm not going to be the deciding factor in what becomes of Nat. Cool. She's going to figure that out for herself. It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Probably because you keep on leaking their secrets to the public. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just Definitely not Heather. wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. What? A bookcase? Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions... People may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. I feel like a lot of people were on your side until you got the brothels shut down. I don't know. Oh, well, it sounds like things got better. For the city? <laughs> yeah. For me. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. Seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. People are just worried you're going to spill their secrets. Are they wrong? I just always hoped they'd understand I was trying to do something good. And some folks have, but it wasn't exactly the life I'd been hoping for. Until you came along. If you're not afraid of me like everyone else, I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. 
I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you, as long as you'll have me. Probably for a little bit longer. I, we we want to cycle through all the companions to yeah. see what they got to say. We gotta, get, we gotta get through everybody. That's weird. Why is the arm missing? Well, maybe that one Whatever. Have, <laughs> maybe that one didn't have the right arm. Oh, it's probably in Piper's inventory. Ah, uh, probably. Piper! <laughs> what is it? What is this? What kind of party is going on here? <laughs> all right, Piper! Piper. Piper, this is why I didn't romance you. Piper! Why is it so wet out here? Hey, we did your job for you. Give us medals. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. So now what? what now what's uh, now what's going on at Fort Strong? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwin. Cool. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. You're welcome. Peace, cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. You said the best. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. No thanks, we have fast travel. I'm sorry, you said the best? And I don't want crash hawks landing on my head. By now. I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's reports. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth. Okay. But they've come up empty-handed. Pretty sure it's a myth. No one really knows. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Could the mysterious energy readings the Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? That would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Nope, that's it. Very well, then. Dismissed. I feel like we've made a good introduction for Elder Maxon. We've made a pretty big splash, and now we can take off. I'll show you making a pretty big splash. And I will show you taking off. I didn't even make a big splash. What the fuck? You know, we should have brought Strong to Fort Strong. I just realized. Oh, uh, yeah, that would have been a good idea. Why is the water just jizzing everywhere when I die? <laughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry to bother you, but remember me? Uh, not to my... Wait. You're that thing that pulled me out of that raider camp. Goodness. You still doing that? Uh, yeah. Still at it. Well, I just wanted to say hi. Make sure you're doing all right. You take care now. Wherever the trail takes us. Dang, that was... Buddy, I gotta be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. <laughs>